This video is to <clears throat> show you the proper way to mix powdered ferrochloride etchant and this powdered etchant comes from the Naja Tool and Supply next door and this will make 16 ounces. So these are the things you're going to need to do the etching. You're going to need some kind of a tray. This is a plastic one with a trash bag on top. And uh, you're going to use a funnel. So I keep this for ferric chloride. This is a 16 ounce, this is actually 20 ounces, but we'll do the 16 ounces will be uh, what's going to fit in this bottle. You can get this bottle anywhere, but if you can't find it, the Naja Tool and Supply has that too. You're going to need a plastic spoon that you're not going to use for anything else, and scissors, and nitro gloves. This is a container of hot water. Not hot, hot, but a mm, little bit warmer than just warm. Okay? So we're going to put the gloves on. Be good if they fit your fingers, but when you have little hands, what are you going to do? Then we're going to open the package very carefully. And I have a dedicated trash can with plastic. I'm going to put everything that has etchant on it in. So I'm going to keep this because I'm going to put my scraps in there. This is double bagged, so be careful. The portion is over here, so I'm cutting on this side. You don't want to cut into the bag the etchant is in by mistake. Then get inside, and there's your etchant. I'm going to hold on to that piece of plastic. And then it's taped right here. So I'm going to use my scissors to get under the tape without cutting the bag. And if you're not outside, you should have good ventilation or you should um, wear a mask. Gloves that fit. And what you want to do is you want to put the water in first. And you guys, this is, this is a two, this is 20 ounces. Don't fill it up to here because your etching will be diluted. You want to fill it up to 16, which is right here. 16 is two cups, in case you didn't know that. Not everybody knows that. Pour your water in first, up to 16 ounces. Eye protection. Definitely want eye protection. Cleaner would be better, but I'll just go with this. And now, when you put this in, you want to be very, very, very careful. You do not want to let a big glob of it plop in there because it's going to boil. When it comes in contact with this water, it makes a chemical reaction that causes boiling. And a lot of fumes come up. And if you put, like, if you put half this bag in here, this would just be a volcano. So that's why I don't, I just do it a little by little. did more than that you would get even more of a reaction you can also get a plastic spoon and go in and then you could not have to worry about a big blob of it coming out by mistake The whole bag, the whole bag goes into this two cups. And you want to try to keep it clean when you're working. Like if you have any messes of ferric chloride, you want to um, clean them up. So because they will damage your clothes and they will turn your skin kind of an orange color. This uh, ferric chloride has a lot of iron in it. 
if you're going to use it and then get rid of it, you'll hazmat it after you neutralize it with baking soda. Just the same as you would pickles. When I first did this, I dumped half this thing in here and I moved back real fast. Luckily I was outside, but I was shocked. I mean, it boiled. So this would not, this whole thing right here would not be good to dump in all at once. I could send smoke signals. The man saying, I'm making dinner, my love. So all of the bag is going to end up in here. This is not something you want to do quickly because you want to be careful. There's just a little bit left, but I'm not going to pour it all in. I just want to get the bag open so I can. You don't want to breathe this. It's very bad for your lungs. If, you, if I didn't mention it, I do have on eye protection and we are under, under the school ventilation. Otherwise, I'd be doing this outside. Okay, now you want to stir it because all of the particles are not uh, diluted necessarily. What I usually do is I have a secondary cup. I can smell that. I have a secondary uh, measuring cup that I can put that in so I don't make a mess. This right here, I'm gonna carefully fold up. Open side first. I'm gonna put it back in here. And then I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna put it back in here and then it's gonna go in the dedicated trash can that everything I do etching that has etching on it at the end of the day, that will all go in this trash can, and then this trash can will be tied up and put in the trash so that nobody can get to it, no children, no animals, nobody who doesn't know what it is. And then I'm gonna take my 16 ounce bottle and my funnel. So somebody else can use this to mix and then this can go in here. Both of these things can stay in here and then I'm going to put the top on. This is warm to the touch and then I'm going to use it today. So this is for this bottle will be for etching copper and if you're going to do other metals when you pour it in and you etch you're going to take that etchant that's for a different metal and get a different bottle and put it in a different bottle and mark it with the whatever uh, kind of metal you're using and how many times you've used it you should be able to use this um, for maybe five or six maybe even seven etchings uh, it's good for six months it has about a six month shelf life if you mix it from powder, every time you etch, you're gonna have to leave it in about a half an hour longer than you did the last time. So it's really important you mark the bottle so you'll know where to start when you do etching for the next time after you've used this bottle once. And every time you just mark up here how many times it's been used. And I like to put the date on the top that I mixed it so I know how old it is. And then neutralize it with baking soda and um, when you get you can like get a gallon container for water that has a screw on top and when that's full and it's already been diluted then you can take it to hazmat and have them dispose of it uh, properly pouring this down the drain and pouring it down the toilet are not an option there's a lot of metal metal 
uh, copper, whatever other metals you're going to do. It doesn't do silver. Um, it will, the, the etching part, when you etch, you etch away about half of the metal. So that, what's getting etched away is going to be in the bottom of your bottle. So if you're saving it, there's a lot of metal in the bottom. You don't want to pour that down the drain where it's got to be treated at a treatment plant. And then we're going to use it for watering food and drinking. So this should never be put down the toilet or down the drain, even if it has been neutralized.